Next, actually we have to do this time series regression for all forms. So, so time series regression for all forms, for n, for all n forms. Oh, by the way, I have to save the file name. So pharma macbeth class, okay? So then, because we have to do time series for n form, therefore, well, there are many ways to do it, but for the simplest one, intuitively simplest one, let's simply use loop. So p first and p array, first one is the array, empty one. So save beta market betas here, okay? So we want to at first, in the final Macbeth regression, first step is we have to estimate the beta for all forms. So for each forms, we collect time series data. So, so this is step one of Pharma Macbeth regression step one, okay? Regress time series stock return data of each form to factors. Here it will only market factors, so one by one, one by one, okay? Stock return data one by one, each form one by one. I want two multi-factor, possibly multi-factors. Here, we have only one factor for convenience, for simplicity. So first step of pharma request regression is to do time series regression. We collect this total data here for the last 10 years and then regress that total return data to the market factor for one by one, for 200, 2000 form, for 2000 form, okay, one by one. Then because we have n number of form, n equal 2000, so we have four i in range n, n number of form, okay. So time series regression for n forms one by one, okay, one by one, okay. To estimate their betas, okay. And then, of course, we will use stat model, but let's use a simple one here, linear regression, okay. And then we fit the model, model fit, we fit, market factor and we fit data, okay, for all time series and then each form i, okay, i is the index one. And then once we estimate it, estimate it, then we collect the model coefficients of p equal mp, now, now it's low bound, so we collect the previous p, and then we add a new estimated beta, so moral coefficient. Okay. Okay. And then we can do that. Okay. So, well, yeah, let's learn it. Okay, and then let's take a look at B. Beta it looks like this one. Okay, so we have this one. Okay, P looks like this one. And then actually we can compare this one. Print P list zip tabulate. I think it may work through beta true and then b ah i will have to improve the tabulate 
So from tabulate import tabulate and then invalid taxes true beta and then b what's going on b hmm tabulate beta true b uh, sorry so actually list c and then and then tabulate over here Yes, so, well, this is a true beta and estimate. They are, of course, they are not exactly the same because we don't have infinite number of data, but as you can see, they are quite similar to each other. Okay. And then actually we can also do, uh, we can also do linear algebra to check estimated B with linear algebra. Okay. So here, okay, so here, now to estimate all petas simultaneously, simul Simultaneously, we can run regression as okay. So instead of y, we can simply plot the data. Okay, then actually, this is now we have a B matrix here, big B matrix, and then we can simply instead of y, we have data over here. Actually, let's use y because y is the notation. Y and then y. Okay. Beta. Instead of beta, we have b. B matrix over here. B matrix. Okay. Right here again, the b matrix is now. Right, why is the data as you know, why is the data method T by N matrix, right? T by N matrix. Why is the T by N matrix, right? So this is the beta. So this is the, basically now we will have two by, and because we have intercept term and the coefficient, so we have a two by m matrix over here. So we will have something like this. Okay. See that m. So uh, to distinguish it, it is kind of big. So yes, like this. Okay. So two by m matrix all together. So what we can do is now we can do the smart regression. So p hat now p hat is again we use m matrix and then m matrix and we can simply put the data. Okay, data. Okay, and then let's check beta p hat shape okay at two so we basically want the transpose of that and then we want only second on coefficient so we don't want the first one so we do a second coefficient for market vector so everything and then second one okay so now let's add p head over here p head and they should be same, should be p head. Okay, so they are exactly same. Okay, so you know, this is a linear algebra. So we don't 
even yield skid run live linearly we can simply just a two line actually it is just one line one line for entire time series regression so much simpler than this one right so it is good to learn linear algebra to the data analysis linear algebra is very important now next step is okay now we can do cross-sectional regression cross-sectional regression for each time for all t times so ff pharma macbeth regression step two oh, so it is pharma macbeth regression step two so what we do is regress cross section of talk return on each forms beta. Huh? Time by time. Time by time. So we have a T number of time. We have time by time. Okay. So again, let's do some intuitive one first. So um, we estimate B, we can use beta hat P, but less is B. So P, let's check B shape, P shape 2000. So let's reshape as a matrix, reshape one, reshape this one because it is more convenient to use it as a matrix form. So NP reshape, reshape, reshape P, and then N by one matrix. And then let's check B shape. Okay, now 2000 and one column. Okay, so it much more looks like matrix. So now let's estimate factor structure F is the NP array we will store estimated the factor returns estimate MKT factor returns here okay now delete this one and then for i in range t. Okay. So again, this is fm step two. Time by time cross sectional regression. Cross sectional regression. And again, border is linear regression linear regression and then we will fit the model model fit and then use you pet p and then now it is cross-sectional regression so at each time at each time for all form okay so it is a cross-sectional regression part regression part Okay, so for each time, each time, entire form. Okay, and then we will store F. F is now MPR, same. And then F, and then model coefficient, model coefficient. Okay. And then what we can do is now print PD data frame, change F as data frame, and let's describe it. You know, in the I change it into data frame, it is a NumPy array, and I change it to data, pandas data frame, because it is a very interesting function, convenient function for describe. Okay, so if we describe it, then I have estimated, so mean is the, so this is, this mean part, this one is the 
average factor return that we are usually interested in. Okay, so it is like a risk premium for the factor return. It is not significant over here, seems not significant over here, but we have to actually uh, divide it by n usually. So, uh, Yes, equal D and then print TF mean, I think. Uh, mean is this one. And then, and then, average factor return. Okay, and then print standard error of a factor return is TF STD standard deviation divided by actually square root of the NP square root of the root square root. Okay, like this. Right? So we did the five basic regression here. 